G'day David, uh, just thought I'd do your quick video tour of the tank, um, a bit easier than taking photos and explanations. So this is the tank here, um, you can see white on the front of it there, it's basically salt that's dripped out, it hasn't been cleaned for about two and a half weeks now. Um, it does leak out the door a little bit when condensation drips off the door as you can see here and also when you turn the filter on um, there's inside of the tank um, right to the left there is the uptake pipe for the filter which can certainly be modified in position um, the whole pump and filter could be put to the side or anywhere you like um, you see a little pipe coming up from the bottom there, where is it, just there. That is the uptake for the UV filter. Um, two white things at the back are air vents in and out, and then there's actually a couple of speakers back there. Um, so there's about 25 mils of water in there. There's two heat pads. Um, the system we've got on the door at the moment is just a manual open and close. Um, the tank has been designed so as that it can actually automatically open and close, um, and it does so. However, because we're running it as a business, um, I've disconnected this just for my own surety, really, because we've got this um, control system here. Sorry, for my own peace of mind. Um, we've got this control system here which controls lights. Um, this linear actuator here which opens and closes the door. And also the music. So basically you can, um, you can program in your session time. Um, just like any of the professional tanks, say a 40 minute session or a 3 hour session, whatever you like. Um, and then jump in there. And there's a couple of buttons inside the tank and you turn it on and off and um, it, lights and, and music all come on and off um, when they need to and let you know when your session's ending just as a professional tank would do if you've been in one of those. So we've, I mean, although this is a custom built tank, we've tried to really make it have all the, all the bells and whistles, but certainly the back end of it in terms of... Um, how it all happens is very DIY. So um, back here, yeah, we've got the pump and the filter. And as you can see, there's salt granules leaking out everywhere. Um, this little doodacky here is the control unit for the internal air temperature of the tank. So that um, that ideally keeps the air inside the tank exactly the same as the water temperature and makes it so you don't know that you are in the body. These are the regulators for the heat pads. Um, you've got your filter there, it also comes with a spare cartridge. Um, that cartridge there will probably last you five years, maybe, maybe ten depending on how often you float. Um, down here, this is your UV filter. Um, the UV filter is used in conjunction with hydrogen peroxide to sterilize the tank. Um, this is something that we do as it's used commercially. It's probably not necessary um, to do all of that if it's just private use or you know for you and your friends. Um, but you can. <laughs> It's all set up there. Now, this here is our very DIY way of controlling the heat inside of the tank. Um, this heater here is completely standalone. It's not been modified in any way. And inside of here, we've got some um, a very large computer fan. And all of this is rigged up to a little unit which controls the airflow going in and out and makes sure it's the right temperature inside. Now, this is not pretty as you can see and it probably may be very off-putting and I would understand. Um, but um, it all works. 
and that's the main thing. Um, currently, the system here with these with these ducting tubes it works, um, but it is a little bit flawed in the sense that condensation comes out of the tank and comes down these pipes. Hence the reason that one over there is going into a plastic bag and it's actually catching any of the condensation that comes out. Um, this tank's been filled, was filled up about seven, four, sorry, five, about five months ago. Um, and we've probably had about 10, maybe 15 litres of water come out through these ducting pipes in that time, which is not much as far as the tank's level is concerned because it's 400 litres in there. But when it's leaking out on your floor, it looks like a lot. If you throw a cup of water on the floor, which I'm sure you've done, it just goes everywhere. Um, so yeah, the, the system which I wanted to implement into this would um, would simply be PVC piping with a little drip feed and a bucket. But um, this certainly does the trick. So there's wiring all along the side here. Um, the tank is not pretty as I said. The whole tank has been built with polystyrene um, to insulate the inside as well as a lot of this um, bed matting on the bottom. So it's got like two to three layers of insulation on the inside and then you've got the tank liner, the, uh, the pool liner, which is some of this really durable liner here. You know, it is hard to cut through it with a sharp knife um, and then you've got your plywood and you've got um, another layer which is the pink bats on the outside so this thing is really well insulated um, yeah it's good so there's a quick tour of it um, there's the raw and uh, reality of this tank you certainly will get a lot more value out of this for for its for its price than what you would out of a little zen tank provided that you are a little bit of a handyman and um i don't know are, are happy to tinker with it it is completely up and running now there isn't anything that you actually need to do with it um except for the sort of normal maintenance that you would have to do on any tank which is pretty much just doing a bit of filtration doing a bit of ph monitoring and um, if you want to you can check the balance for um, water hardness and that kind of thing um, but it will probably need maintenance over the years and um, because it's not a smooth uh, fiberglass shell it's um, going to need a little bit more TLC. Anyway, I will um, wait to hear from you. Awesome, David. See you.